A lot of people will say that sociology degrees are useless. And to me, they're not really useless if you want to learn about a Marxist ideology. And if that's what you want to learn about, and that's what you want to, sorry, but be indoctrinated with, then you take those kind of classes. And if you're going to get after me for that, go ahead and look up sociology and look up Marxism. A lot of sociology is teaching a Marxist philosophy, a Marxist ideology. Now, I don't see it a bad thing to learn about Marxist ideology, but when it's being learned as this is reality, this is the way things should be, this is the way that we should work to make things towards, then it is no wonder why some people on the right accuse colleges of pushing a left-wing agenda. These things that they teach in sociology classes is that the idea of separate but equal is horrible. You can't have that. Everything needs to be a perfect 50% gray. And if there's something, one thing that is higher up in society than another, then you do this to somehow balance it out, even though, I mean, we should be just doing this. If we need to balance something out, do this. You don't take this and then do this to balance it out. Because then when the time comes that you need to make it the other way, you say, no, you can't make it the other way. Well, we need to make it so it's balanced. No, no, you can't do that. That's bigoted to do that. You know, when, when things like violence are being taught to be covering a much larger area than actual just violence, oh, well, you need to study the sociological uh, uh, viewpoint of, of those words. Otherwise, you are intellectually lazy, you're intellectually dishonest, you're stupid, or you're anti-intellectual. You know, learn this ideology, believe in this ideology, state that this ideology is the only right thing, Otherwise, you are lazy, stupid, anti-intellectual, or you don't want to learn. It kind of reminds me of how people... I've had... <laughs> there was a, a friend of mine, uh, Lonnie. I've talked about him before. And, you know, he's not a musician, but he would constantly tell me that I must learn how to be proficient at sheet music, otherwise I'm not a real musician. And that always infuriated me. I don't need to learn that type of thing to make music, especially since we have all these other ways of going about things. I don't always break apart music in those ways. Now, I find it important to know some of the very basics, but from there you can analyze things your own way. I don't think we should be forced into everyone being forced into analyze every, every, analyzing everything exactly the same way. That's indoctrination. Excuse me, that's indoctrination. Trying to teach people how to think for themselves is different than saying, well, you need to think of it like this. This is the way you need to break this apart. This is the way. Break it apart this way. Do this now. Do this now. Let me say your middle name. You know? If we go via 
the sociological studies, then masculinity is toxic. And violence is something that goes beyond the normal view of what violence is. Someone saying some words online is now considered violence. Disagreeing too strongly is violence. And especially if you disagree with sociological studies, well, that's bullying, that's violence, that's stupidity, that's being lazy, that's being dis dis uh, intellectually dishonest. And that really is the new reality we're living in right now. Put on a Marxist ideology or you're lazy or you're stupid. And it's really maddening because now it seems that a professor or there could be just a class that studies something a certain way. As soon as they study things that way, well now that's the way, new way that everyone has to start to approach something. We can create these new definitions out of thin air. Now, as I've said in the past, the past one of my past videos, there's nothing wrong with finding new ways of approaching something. But when you start to declare that these new ways of approaching something is the only real way to approach it, just because it's new, you know, that's bullshit. That reminds me of back in the day of zero day wares, BBSs, you know? Well, it's a new game, it must be good. And then sometimes you'd find that it's just a game that, you know, you, you spent hours and hours and hours downloading this, this game for the Commodore 64, and then when you finally get it, oh, it's this game with, with a few graphics changed. Someone kind of homemade changed a few things. Oh, but it's new. It's zero day wares. You know, it's the same kind of thing. New doesn't always mean better. Old doesn't always mean good either. We have a lot of old ideas that we should be challenging. But that doesn't mean that everything that comes out that's new is good. We need both neophobes and neophiles. We need them both. I tend to tilt towards being a neophile. Neo, new, liking new things, new ideas. But when these new ideas look like shit, they look like bullshit, hey, I smell bullshit, for those particular ideas, I become a neophobe, which is someone who doesn't like new ideas. I think it's a lot more healthy to analyze these things individually. But so many people get into this mode of, well, if it's new, it's great, or the complete opposite, oh, if it's old, it's great. It'd be nice if we could be a little more diversified in our thinking, but people don't seem to want to do that. You're either on this side or you're on this side, and I don't personally believe in that. So, I'm not really sure where to go with this now, but I am very disappointed in how people will study things uh, from a sociological perspective and declare that that is the only way to look at something. It's disappointing. 
and it seems to be taking over a lot of thought. Which is why we have people, which is why we have feminists going around saying that masculinity is toxic. Which is why we have people going around saying, die cis scum. Which is why we have people going around saying that all religions are damaging. All religions. I wish more people were independent thinkers. That's all I've got to say.